Hi everyone, we've always talked about doing work that's outside of the Ndumba. So here we are at the Imara conference, doing amazing work with Coco Dineo, and this is her setting up. So this is how we ground ourselves for the work that's done outside of the Ndumba.
you already told them what we're doing. Yes, Baba. So now you are live. Oh, okay. So I'd like to know what are you doing <laughs> outside of the Dubai and what is all this you're setting up? No, you. I, I thought you told them. So I, like, I did you tell them, but you know they love your words. <laughs> so the last talk I gave was at words, and I said we are. We need to take this work beyond the Dumba because not everybody won feel safe to come into a Dumba space and kind of figure out what's going on with them. Secondly, also, not everybody has access to come to Indy because we come from different parts of the world and I know that some of the people who follow this work are in the four corners of the globe. So live stream is one of the ways that we bring this work to your doorstep, to your comfort zones. But we also get invited into spaces of really enriching and grounding people in African spirituality and African ancestry. And that's what we have come to do today. It's the Imari Conference 2019, where powerful women who come on this journey to reawaken, to be reborn, to be reconnected, to be grounded within their own divine, you know, divine feminine. And what we've come and what we've been invited to is to actually do what we call a naming ceremony. We all know the significance and the importance of naming in African spirituality because we need to call forward your soul peoples and your name does that very well for you so that's what we've come to do you know we've come i've come with the gogos say yes the onika is now staying with them glasses she's done with the process yes so we've come and it's also a great thing for Gogos to understand that this work, in order for us to evolve and in order for us to be modern, uh, we need to actually do this kind of work because we shouldn't be confined as healers um, because I think the work that is required and the work that is needed for African spiritual healing goes beyond... Uh, I can see Tumsani saying, quiet, 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 goes beyond just in Dumba space. In Dumba is, 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 is where you actually practice as i sangoma or as i nyanga la kona kuhlele abokoko no koko mkulu bagini emsamo wa wa sendumbe ni ngomba kutiwa iskodro or indumba it's because that's actually for i sangoma because umsamo is for for every family every household has to have what we call a sacred space a sacred shine and altar in which they commune communicate and connect with their ancestors so endumbe is where it's actually specifically for those who have spiritual gifts that facilitate healing but this work to facilitate healing is not confined in the four corners of the room to facilitate healing we take it where the healing is required and we hoping that in today's session we're actually going to be planting great seeds of healing and we're going to be reawakening and crystallizing and actually getting them to awaken to their true African identity and the African selves as we know and I always say that we are all African because this is the cradle of humankind this is where life began for all of us so this are, is a group of women from across the world and mostly from north america who've come here on a retreat to really be rejuvenated re-energized so i'm looking i'm looking forward to it i'm not in my hundreds today um as you saw in my earlier post that i said i feel i need a break um but this work never stops for me you know this work never stops i've come with some of my graduates and some of the Gogo students who passed their assessment because we write assessments. Are you saying that Sangoma's right assessment? Yes. It's not all spiritual? No. <laughs> we need to test their knowledge, ability, and how they actually, because there's something about understanding something, but there's something about articulating what you're understanding. And my intention is that I cannot be the only one who does these teachings. I think it's unsustainable and it's, it cannot reach the masses. So the hope with the Gogos and the institute is to also see how well do they understand what is it that they're doing as healers and can they be able to articulate and express it and you know writing is one of the ways we don't only assess them with their writing skills and their ability to write but there's other ways but they get tests yes they get tested <laughs> on different things so the last one was actually explaining five different types of healing without using umut because mut is one of the ways but there are many ways you know then they would have an assessment of you know, explain the significance and the role that Upata plays in a patient's life. So those things, because they get taught, so they need to leave the space 
with an understanding of their callings but with an understanding of how to be to apply what they've learned in the space so i'm i'm hoping as coco dineo that i actually can develop a formal institute where people can actually come outside as learned not only as sangomas who understand their calling and their gift and they can use multi and medicine because some of their patients need more than that they need other things and we live in a generation and in the time where people want to understand things before they sign up for it so we cannot say guti ngoba idloziliti we need to also understand guti meli shoso idlozi as an intermediary as a sangoma between idlozi nalo munto selendumbeni yako how best can you explain and articulate and 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 clarify information that's coming from the other side so that the person who's sitting in dumbeni yako can feel you know can feel cleared up in order for them to sign up for the treatments or for the healing journey that you're about to impact them on so i don't know we'll see if we're gonna we, we will live stream this i will test my energy and my spirit if it wants to because for me it's a sacred thing that i'm gonna be doing tonight it's a ritual so i'm not doing it because it's an act i'm not doing it because i'm hired to do it you know some things i do not show because uh, uh, it jeopardizes the sacredness and somebody watching on the other side might want to take it upon themselves to apply it but it's not applicable for you because whatever that we do we ask for it we don't just take things and uh, throw it because everywhere we get invited you know that uh, in, uh, test, that everywhere we get to it's specifically for those people so sometimes it's very hard for us to duplicate or have a replica of stuff because everything is spirit-led and things that are spirit-led it means they're tailor-made because the people who have come tonight for this process have come because they are seeking this process for their healing for their awakening for things but we'll send pictures we'll maybe we'll send little short clips we do not know we love you lots i know you love begizita's music so i'm gonna ask you baba begizita just before you ask him they're like please can you be a member of parliament can i be a member of parliament <laughs> so that you can talk about ubungoma and that you are yeah that they're learning a lot Oh great! I'm actually, you know, uh, spirit says I might, I might get into politics, but sometimes right. politics are items and stop people. <laughs> <laughs> politics it means you are for and against something, and I'm for life, you know. So sometimes politics can be limiting in that way because who am I? I'm for all lives. I'm not irrespective of political, religious. Uh, cultural affiliation and for life because spirituality encompasses it all maybe we'll have a spiritual party that advocates for humanity and that advocates for you know fairness and equality of all human beings yeah. and groundedness but more so reminding people of their africanness because we've been so removed from african identities i think that's the injustice that i try to address all the time that we cannot denounce ourselves but want to call ourselves african we cannot denounce african spirituality we can never denounce badimu amadlozi izinyanya abapanzi uh, you know as africans and, and 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 truly say you are african because that is the source that is the essence and the minute we take away the essence of that you know forget about labeling yourself as an african because you are saying that you're a product of something that is not to be favored for so i am very proudly african because Africa. so i hope that you guys can know who you are but see a tree without its roots cannot bear no fruit so in order for you to bear fruit panelusas with timbela pi yako ubani ungazi shoguti wundlanzi ungazi utungamba ndinu logo twayu sebelela abubani ungazi shoguti shabalala nga understand kutu mshengu tunga lga mavuso ganjan ungazi shoguti kumalu mtu ngumbulazi undabezi ita ganjan ungazi shoguti upe ungo losu songo lolo ungazi shoguti ganjan uskai pijo rorama lepastulu sama tebele omokaranga uchochonono ukulubo sati tzebi buzuru kamu kabu tzebi buzuru mani don't you cannot just call a name because that's what we're doing today you're calling a name because by calling a name is not a name only that it has been bestowed upon you but it's a name that connects you to the powers that be to divine energy to divine intelligence to divine abundance some of you out there unable to bear any fruit because you are disconnected from the very same names that you're given and those are just not your first second names but also your surname plays an incremental role in making sure that you are grounded and you are rooted. So, Bantona Bethlozi, understand Guti Angege Uzi Shonge Spongo and denounce everybody else that is attached to that Spongo because you are self-cursing yourself. No re 
religion can take you away from your true identity. No God can move you away from who you are because if God is for us, then God celebrates all of us and does not dictate to us how we can be. But only God actually says the wise shall choose life. God never dictates. So if you're going and because we are so then why has God created you why were you born in the skin in the tone and in the race that you're born into if everything that has to do with that it's evil it doesn't make sense that's a provocation I'm leaving you with it was good for thought Thank you. Sunday Mama. message from Gogo. Hey, maybe I should do these things often. Eh? Sunday must. message from Gogo. But your people are rude. They're laughing at my burps. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and I want to say like, this. They're like, shut up no, inside. No, hey, hey, and people say that. You know, yeah. people say that. I, I get that on YouTube where people say there's a funny sound. This Gogo's burping has to stop. No ways. I'm not going to stop anyone from doing that. I am for embracing all of us, including the discomforts that the burps are creating. Because it's you need to listen deeply beyond the babs if the babs are disturbing you what actually are they inviting you to pay attention to within yourself that is being agitated by jumsani's babs but they say because i burped you're gonna become a member of parliament <laughs> too <laughs> thank you guys so, Rosa, thank you guys thank we're gonna you. leave you with a song and then we'll send you pictures we'll keep you posted because i also need to go change i need to get ready and look good but they're already saying sexy gogo they didn't know another outfit was coming really yeah. oh no no they were never this is ready the, like the, the, the <laughs> sebenza outfit it's the sebenza gogo outfit this is the sebenza the sebenza gogo outfit we're gonna have the the gogo outfit for you know and 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 i say to people because people say they don't know that sangomas look this good in all that I do, it's not to strive for perfection because perfection is an illusion. Because it means that as I am, I'm imperfect if I'm always wanting to be perfect. But I'm conscious and mindful of how I show up all the time as a Sangoma because my work is to break the stereotypes about what uh, people like us look like, what people like us be like. So in everything that I do, I carry that consciousness with me. It's not about perfection. It's not about glamming it up. It's not about anything like that. If it looks glam to you, that's fine. If it looks glorified to you, that's fine. But for me, it's about that, you know, what I preach, I need to embody. And that's the challenge that I live with daily because it's not, I'm not there yet because every day, it's, it's an invitation for me to say, how do I be mindful? How do, we, do I be conscious that uh, what I'm saying, seeing your paper much, what I'm saying, I live it. And it's not an easy thing because I also come from a, a legacy and a history of religion that I, conti I continuously challenge my own belief system in order for me to fully be embracive of Ubungoma, fully be embracive of the gift that I believe Unkulunkulu Nabagiti Bangnige thank you thank you Jumsani for this I'm feeling alive you you're gonna do this <laughs> you look like, alive no, Baba. I feel alive thank you for your inspirational oh words God, thank yes. you uh, yeah thank I you. hope you guys have a blessed Sunday we'll send you pictures yes I've been trying Peggy Zita is busy taking pictures I'm trying to say please sing yourself people are saying please don't stop <laughs>
much. I love what you do and it will love you back. Hallelujah. Thank you. And Msizwe, they didn't know you were a yellow bone. Graduation is good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yellow bone, yellow bone. Thank you, Gogos. Thank you, Mkulus. Thank you. Wow, that's a... Yellow bone.